Normally, I would mock the wires before I start cutting them. However, the descriptions don't seem to match what the wires belong to, and they're all doubled up. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut them all out, and we'll figure it out afterwards. Okay, and we have the final screw right here. And there you go, you can take that to the scrapyard. So this larger piece of wood will give us plenty of room to mount the new panel. Okay. We got the cable coming in from the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down. Just gonna hold the cable in place. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and level it and fasten it to the board. I'm going to take these bare aluminum wires, braid them together as one, which is going to be your neutral, and tie it into the neutral bus bar. This gel prevents oxidation on the wire. Now I'll go ahead and connect the two power wires to the electrical panel. So why do you curl the wire like that? We curl the wire so that it gives us the ability to bend the wire up and then reinsert it into the lug pretty easily. I'll take the cable and insert it through one of these knockouts into the electrical panel. And I'll tighten the lock nut with a couple taps. And now I'll feed each circuit into the panel pretty much like that. Now I'm going to take the bare wires, which are grounds, and the white wires, which are neutrals, and connect them to the neutral and ground bar on the sides of the panel. Now we're ready to install the circuit breakers. Remember, the job of the circuit breaker is to prevent the wires from overheating. We have three different size wires that come into your electrical panel. The smallest goes on a 15 amp breaker, the medium on a 20 amp breaker, and the largest on a 30 amp breaker. Now the first circuit breaker I'm going to install is a 15 amp circuit breaker. Now when I plug it in, it's going to receive 120 volts from the left side of the bus bar. This wire here is a 15 amp wire. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Tighten it down, and that's going to send power right up to that circuit. This 30 amp circuit breaker is a little different. It's a two pole circuit breaker. It provides 240 volts to your electric clothes dryer. So what I'm going to do is snap this in. Now it's installed, it gets 120 volts from the left side of the panel and 120 volts from the right side of the panel, giving the closed dryer 240 volts of electricity. Now instead of just one wire, there are two. We have a black wire and a red wire. This is your main ground wire. This wire runs out through the bottom of the electrical panel and ties onto this copper water main that comes in from the outside. I got a clamp, runs over and jumps your water meter and ties to the other side. That way there, if the water meter ever gets removed, you'll always have this important ground. All right, so is that it? That's it. What do you say we go ahead and call the power company, have them reconnect your service, get your lights on. All right. All right, now that the power company has reconnected outside, I'd like you to have the honors of turning on the main breaker. All right, let's see what happens. Hey, what do you say about that? That's awesome. All right, so we have a 200 amp main circuit breaker with plenty of room for expansion down below. All I need to do is label the breakers and you're good to go. Mm -hmm.